Hey Fruit Faces, just want to do a really quick off-topic video here, not about veganism, but it is kind of wrapped up in environmentalism because I feel like fucking uh, diapers, like I hate diapers. If you can cloth diaper, it's so easy, it's easier than you think. It's really, really super good. It's one of the best things that you can do if you're a parent for the environment, literally, especially besides going vegan. Like going veganism is probably the best thing that you could ever do for the environment. If you even consider yourself a smidgen of an environmentalist, you have to go vegan. And that's another video. I think I've done a video on that. I have a whole playlist on environmentalism. So check that out. But this video is about potty training. And I had two kids and they were pretty much potty trained by about 18 months. And um, when I say pretty much, that's because like people didn't really believe me, like the in-laws and even my parents, like they were kind of like, oh, whatever, like they're not potty trained. And so like they would kind of enable them to wear diapers and stuff when they went to like their houses and stuff like that. Um, and I have to go now because our practice is pretty much over. So I'm going to make this super, super short, but the secret to potty training, and I, I admit it, see, I have boys that are, turn two right about, that turn, that have birthdays in the summer so um it was really really easy for me coming up on spring and summer to just get them outside and it's also easy because they're boys I feel like it's just easier for them to pee outside um but that's one of the best things I can do is like take advantage between 18 months and two years you know let your kid go outside and if you can't if you don't have a good area where they can go outside with no pants on just uh, get some little kid underwear because that'll help if they pee most of it's you know put some shorts on so if they pee and, and, and if you're inside and you don't want to clean it up socks are good you know because it'll run down their leg and just go in their socks and you can just take all that stuff off and wash it and have less you know spills on the floor and everything but basically what you want to do is just make sure and get your kid out of the diaper because it's especially disposable diapers like I said you can really tell that I'm anti um, disposable diapers because what they do, and, and it's, it, they're made like this for a reason. They're, they're made so well to keep kids from being potty trained because the more diapers you have to buy, and we as Americans, I know not all you guys are American, but as Americans, we are some of the latest potty trainers in the world. Um, so you really need to get them out of those diapers because what those diapers do is they totally they're so absorbent and they're made in such a way that it really masks the feeling of letting them know that they're going pee and if you ever watch the movie babies um I don't know who it's by or whatever, but it's like about all these different kids that they follow different kids in Africa and China and rural Europe and, you know, different areas and urban kids too. But um, most of the kids don't wear diapers and that's how it is all around the world. Like kids, when they're allowed to experience the sensations of urination and even pooping, it's like they learn what they're doing and then they learn you, you're able to teach them. And um, I'm really a fan of elimination communication, although I didn't learn about that. I don't even think it was a thing when I had my kids, but um, I can't even just letting them. I would say definitely go for elimination communication and find some videos on that if your kid is still really young. But if your kid's coming up, if you're ready to potty train your kid, definitely just get the diaper off. You know, like I said, if you don't want to let them run around totally naked, just get those underwears and um, you can even put a couple pairs on them. It's going to be better. They're, what they're going to do is they're going to be paying attention to their body. They're going to say, whoa, I'm peeing right now. And then you can better find out their cues and you can guide them to the restroom and all of that. And it's that first step of awareness that is really, really crucial in order to get the, you know, the gears of potty training um, going. Oh crap, I gotta get the keys out of the back. <laughs> so definitely get rid of the diapers. I know it sounds crazy just to like take them off and let them run around, but I mean, they're babies, this is what they're supposed to do. They need to be conscious, you know? Everything's about consciousness. They need to be conscious of their bodies, conscious of what is going on, conscious of the fact that, wow, pee comes out of there, what that feels like. I mean, how are they gonna know when they're peeing if they don't even know what's happening? It's just like, you can't expect a kid all of a sudden. And also, one other tip that I have just real fast is that, shut up, what's this video about? It's about potty training, just shut up. <laughs> I was like, what's I'm like so confused. One other tip I have is to start early, and you know, a lot of people have the, um, 
what do you call it? The diaper changing tables and they have them over in their bedroom and in the nursery and all of that, which I never did nurseries. I just always co-slept and had the kids like right there. But what you want to do is I, what I found was really effective for me is when I was a daycare provider is to take, just have the mat, just take the mat and um, put it in the bathroom. And so automatically you're creating the connotation that bathroom equals, you know, the area where we take care of our business. Yeah. And then what you do is as soon as they go potty, um, like let's say they pooped in their pants, you know, pooped in their diaper and you're in there changing them, you can show them from a very early age. Like I'm talking, you know, do this early. The earlier the better from, from birth. If, you know, if you can do that, you just shake out the poop into the potty, which is actually, guys, that's what we're all supposed to be doing anyway. If you're throwing poop into the trash, you're actually, in some places, you're probably breaking the law, which most people don't even realize that. Um, but it's horrible for the landfill. It's even worse than just using disposable. I mean, disposable diapers is bad in itself, but if you're throwing away poop inside of it, it's even worse. Like, seriously, just stop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stop just it. throw the poop no. in the toilet. The kids will, will learn from a very young age that poop does not go in our pants. And you can tell them. Poop doesn't go. And, you know, obviously don't get angry with your child for pooping in their diaper when they're young. But at least they'll start to realize and start to know and just know where it goes. And that'll just help them so you don't have to all of a sudden one day say, okay, now we've allowed you to poop in your diaper for two years or three years even. And now all of a sudden we're going to try to do it in this little, this little potty. No, 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 no. So, um, so yeah, that's why I definitely, and you can hold them on the potty. The, again, the elimination communication is awesome. Like if after you eat, if you know your kid is, is about to pee or always pees, you know, obviously because you just fed them a bunch of food and water, then you take them over the potty. And even just, I would just let them sit there. Like after you change or while you're changing their diaper, just put them up there, you know, let them sit and let them get used to it from a very young age, like way before you would even expect. And again, have it be fun time. It's, it's a good attention thing where they get lots of attention. You know, you don't have to reward them with treats or anything, but make it be a fun little thing. You can look up potty songs and the potty timers are great. Again, the earlier you start, I know it sounds crazy and most people are like, it's like food. You want to wait till your kids show signs that they're ready. No, do these things before that and it won't ever come as a shock or as a surprise and you'll be able to potty train your kid a lot 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 sooner so anyway thanks for watching this go ahead and share with any families that you know that could use this it definitely really helps and like i said i've had experience with both my kids and many 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 different kids that i have uh, worked with in the past over the years yeah so take care don't forget to eat your fruit Go vegan if you're not vegan. And Jolly Ranchers, <laughs> Jolly Ranchers are vegan. Totally. Okay, thanks. Bye.